year-old Amanda, Tom Garvin is playing the role of Billy, and Maddie Calandrillo is playing the role of Kim. Ooh. Kim. Maddie, Kim. Maddie. Madeline Calandrillo, I'm not yeah. sure. What's the name of the feminine ending? A feminine ending by Sarah Dream. more 
more special than me. So you met some people that you thought you might, might be better than you? Yeah, quite a few. So you gave up? I took a sort of break. I should have tried so much harder to sleep with you in high school. What? I mean, your conviction seemed so strong back then. If I had known that you were so full of bullshit that I wanted to uh, save you. You ride around in a postal truck. You live on the same street as my parents. You have never left the town you were born in. What's college? You didn't finish. Well, it wasn't for me, but you. All you ever talked about was music school, showing people art, going out and seeing the Hey, world. Billy, if you brought me here to catalog my dreams deferred, don't bother. I know what they are. I'm the one that let them go. Put them on hold. Why? Because I didn't want to be a bitch, Billy. Nobody sees a girl alone with an oboe and thinks she must be brilliant. They think she must be weird or maladjusted or stuck up. I wanted people to like me. You get all these perks when you're a girl and people like you. You can open doors with a smile. Eventually I realized that those doors don't open very far at all. And Besides that, they're the wrong doors. And besides that, I didn't even know what doors I should be looking for because I was too busy watching the boys when they gave that lecture in class. Because there seemed to be a time crunch and a limited supply. And everyone else was getting one. Nobody ever got me. So I started to think I'd better get one too. And I did. A great one. A real catch. And it wasn't easy getting him because a lot of people wanted him, and it won't be easy keeping him no matter how much he loves me. I began thinking recently, I have a few years now, before Jack's career takes off, before children of relative security, I could really get something done. But when I think about all the doors that we need to open, there used to be doors everywhere, but it's like I've forgotten what a door looks like. God, I'm not making any sense, am I? No, I could show you a door if you like. Can I tell you something totally insane? I have this feeling that I don't have the words to put to my thoughts. Or, or I don't know what order to put my thoughts in, and I know if I say them out loud, they would just sound crazy. You know, when I was in college before I quit, I was a double major in uh, women's studies and linguistics. Don't make fun of me, please. Well, my women's studies courses, I learned that Virginia Woolf had this theory about a male sentence versus a female sentence. A male sentence is aggressive, it's linear, it has a point, and when it communicates that point, the sentence is over. A female sentence, it's all more circuitous. The objective is not necessarily to achieve, but rather to explore images, consciousness, express feelings. The problem is, if you read too many female sentences in a row, you just feel like you're going to go insane. There's no order. Nothing happens. I hated reading Virginia Woolf. I thought it was a waste of time. My professor, she pointed out that it was It just wasn't what we expected. It was a different system than we liked. The writer was happy to a consciousness that we never got a chance to look into. Which is why all of this has just been a really long-winded um, way to credit your feelings of not speaking your native tongue. The language we speak um, as humans might not be your first language. It's a woman. Done. Sure. I just told you everything that I've learned in college. I'm, I'm done. I know, it might seem like it's bullshit now, but if you really think about it, it starts to make sense if you can. Oh my god. I just kissed you. I'm getting married to someone else. Why didn't you tell me you were so smart? I wasn't this smart in high school. You could have really made something uh, of yourself. And then what, you'd be marrying me instead of Bon Jovi? If I only knew that he had a brain in high school, give me a break. You're right. I've got no business being here. I have some weird case of cold feet and it's making me delusional. I have a fiancé back in New York who is very good looking and about to be embarrassingly successful and all I have to do is get in the car and drive back to the city. And when I wake up tomorrow, all of this will be one of those stupid orchard trees that had a million Nothing more. Great seeing you again. OK, 
so that he 